Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Hope you had a great week. I am so happy to be worshiping with you again. And before we begin, let us have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your protection during the week and for making it possible for us to meet together with our kindergarten boys and girls. Please help that whatever we do and say will be meaningful to our boys and our girls. Guide us now, we pray, for Christ's sake. Amen. Okay, we'll begin our worship session by singing. Our first song will be, My God is so great, which I taught you last week, and then I'm going to go on to teach you your song for this week. Now, I'll sing it just to remind you of it. So listen and look at the actions. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his. The rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Now it's your turn, listen to the accompaniment and stand up and let's sing with the actions. Now, before we begin our lesson, 
I would like you to look at two scenarios presented by my two helpers, Aria and Olivia. Then you will tell me which scene shows what you would have done if you were Aria. The second scene or the first scene, okay? I'm sure you all said the second scene because in that one, Aria remembered to say thank you. Now, we will ask Olivia to tell us how she felt when Aria didn't say thank you and how she felt when Aria did say thank you. When Aria didn't say thank you, I felt unappreciated, like she didn't care about me or that I was being kind to her. She was just glad that she got her favorite candy and made me really sad. When I said thank you, I felt like she appreciated my kindness and that I was important to her. I felt that she wanted me to know that she loves me for being kind to her. This made me very happy. Thank you, Aria and Olivia. You see boys and girls, when you say thank you, you make the giver feel very happy and appreciated. Good job, Aria and Olivia. Well done. Our lesson today is entitled, One Said Thank You. You will find this story in God's Word, the Holy Bible, and it's in Luke 17, verses 11 to 19. Aria will now tell us what our memory verse is for this week. God, I will give you thanks forever. Psalms 30, 12. And now for today's lesson. One day, Jesus and his disciples were walking to Jerusalem. They passed by a little village and while they were passing there, they heard a group of men from a distance shouting, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. Jesus looked towards where the sound was coming from and he saw that they were ten men. Okay. Do you see those ten men? Now let's make sure that they were really ten men that Jesus saw. Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yes, they were really ten men. But the men were not coming near to Jesus. They were keeping their distance. I wonder why they were not coming near to Jesus. Hmm. What do you think? Well, I'll tell you. Now, those ten men, they had a very serious disease called leprosy. Now, when you have leprosy, your nerves are damaged and you cannot feel things, you can't touch things, you can't pick up anything, 
you can feel your feet and you break out with a lot of sores like these men have. Now, when you are a leper, a leper is someone who suffers from leprosy. And when you're a leper, the priest will decide that you will let you know that you have to leave home and go live in the hills or the mountains or among the rocks, anywhere where you can shelter. You have to go there to live. And that is because leprosy is very, very contagious. If you remain near to people, then you will also give them your sickness. So these poor lepers had to leave their families. They couldn't hug their children. They couldn't see and play with their children. They couldn't come near to anyone. Isn't that sad? Oh. Now, if by chance anybody came near to these lepers, they had to shout, unclean, unclean, so that the people will know that lepers are in this neighborhood or nearby and they will not go any further. They will not get near to them because nobody wanted to get sick. Now, as I continue reading this story to you, every time you hear me say lepers, I want you to say unclean, unclean in your real sad voice. All right, now listen as I continue reading the story. The 10 lepers, to hear you saying unclean, unclean, had heard that Jesus had made many people well, and they hoped that he could take away their sickness too. Jesus knew that they couldn't come close because they were lepers. Unclean, unclean. He loved them and he wanted to help them. He said to them, after looking at them and realizing that they were lepers, he knew they couldn't come close and he was not going close to them either. Now, he looked at them and he felt so sorry. Jesus loves everyone. It doesn't matter if you're sick. It doesn't matter what you look like. Jesus loves you and he wants to help you. And so he wanted to help those lepers. Now he said to the lepers, Go to the priest and show yourself to him. And the lepers were wondering, well, but we are not healed. Look, we still have spots. Our fingers are still numb. How can we go and show ourselves to the priest? He is not going to give us permission to go back to our families because it is only the priest who can decide who must leave their families because of leprosy or when you can go back to your family. Now, they might have been thinking that, but you know what? They had heard that Jesus was kind and he had helped many, many people. And so they believed that whatever he told them to do, they should do and they will be healed. They believed that he would heal them. And so they headed straight to the priest. They were so happy to do what Jesus told them to do. And they ran as fast as they could straight to the priest. And you know what happened? While they were running, they were healed. The sores were gone. All the spots were gone. They could feel their limbs again. They can feel their toes and they could feel their fingers. Jesus watched the lepers run off to the priest. 
Then all of a sudden, he saw one man stop. Why is he stopping? The disciples wondered. Wasn't he healed? And while he was coming back, the man heard, the disciples heard him shouting something that sounded like, praise God, praise God. The man ran all the way back to where Jesus was and he fell down at Jesus' feet and he said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you very much. Thank you for making me well again. And Jesus said to him, But weren't there ten of you that I healed? I am happy that you came back to say thank you. But I'm a little sad because the other nine never came back to say thank you. Now Jesus loves to make people well. But he likes it when people say thank you to him. Our message for today is we worship Jesus when we say thank you. Yes, we worship God when we thank him for taking care of us every day and for everything that he does for us. Now let us repeat our message again. We worship Jesus when we thank him. Now let us end our lesson by singing our thank you song again but instead of singing all oh, give thanks unto the Lord we will sing we give thanks. Every time we see oh we sing instead we give thanks unto the Lord. Okay? Listen to your introduction and you will join me.